at 10 on Two Works For You starts right now. A new bond proposal from TPS is on the horizon. And tonight, parents had the chance to learn about how millions will be spent if voters give it the green light. 10 News reporter Nathan Edwards live tonight at East Central High School with what he learned from that public forum. Well, Karen, tonight each parent that showed up to this meeting received a copy of this list. It basically outlines the plan from TPS on how they're going to spend their money. Now, a plan that would affect every student in the district for many years to come. Behind the bulletproof windows and thick concrete walls here at Lindbergh Elementary are shelves filled with books. It looks like just a normal library. But it's more than that. It's also a tornado shelter, the first of its kind at Tulsa Public Schools, paid for by a bond in 2010. In the past, it was trying to find some place in the building that didn't have windows, and every place has windows. So now we can come down here and all be together and be safe. The plan is to add 20 more throughout the district. Just one of the many projects laid out in a bond proposal worth $412 million. But we'd encourage them to dive into the detail. The, the best way to do this is to be transparent so people understand how we're spending, how we would spend these dollars. So far, it appears the interest is low. In a room that normally seats hundreds, tonight only 10 voters showed up to learn more. This is really more a sign of support. TPS believes this shows that people aren't upset about the proposal and trust the district to spend money wisely. But for Christy Blystone, she wants to know what she's voting on. It is, I think, important to know as a taxpayer as well as a parent of two TPS students, where is the money going? But there's still plenty of time to get caught up on the details. TPS plans on holding more forums as we get closer to the election. I think it, I think interest will go up. Well, before the bond can hit the ballot in March, it has to be approved by the school board. It'll hit their desk next Monday. Reporting live in East Tulsa tonight, Nathan Edwards, 2 News Works for you.